my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another spell for you guys this is for those of you guys that are trying to get a lover back for others of you uh, perhaps they ghosted you you haven't heard from them you're wanting communication but you're not willing to be the one to reach out yes we can be a little bit egotistical like that right <laughs> well this spell is for you now this can be used to draw in love but it can also be used to draw in your partner or your lover or the person of your interest if you feel like things have gotten a little bit on the distant side, perhaps there's been a recent separation or recent breakup. You're wanting to stay on their mind. You're wanting to for them to be the ones to come to you or reach out to you. This spell is for you. Now, this is a two-step ritual. And what we do in this process is we are going to draw them in. We are going to pull their energy towards us. Once we have achieved that, then we're going to move forward with reflaming or rekindling the connection and strengthening the, shall we say, enchantment over them to make it a little bit more stronger, to have them uh, be a little bit more caring, more nurturing, more loving, more attentive, and yes, more passionate as well. Like I said, it is a two-step process, so I'm going to guide you guys through this process. Now, for the first um, the first step that we're going to need is you're going to need some parchment paper. You're going to be needing red marker. You're going to be needing some red cord. Um, you're also going to be needing some coffee, cinnamon, honey, and some love powders now you can use any type of love powder whether it's come to me whether it's <clears throat> cordero powder whether it's um uh, love uh or only mine or come to me or follow me wapo um, any of those powders you can use i'm going to be using um specific powders that i use and you can also find those powders on my online store um I just feel like it gives it a little bit more amplified energy. Um, and like I said, you're going to be needing some cinnamon, some honey. Um, now in the second process, we're going to be needing a black marker, a red apple, cinnamon, honey, and the powders that we're going to be using for the parchment paper as well. Like I said, this is done specifically uh, to draw in love or to bring a lover to you or to have them reach out uh, to try to rekindle the connection um, that once was and perhaps has weathered or perhaps there's been a breakup. Um, now, the one of the most important ingredients that you're going to be using in this process is... Dun, 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 dun. Do I have it somewhere here? Yes, it's right here. We're going to be using some tobacco cologne. Now, what is this? This is a cologne that has been used throughout centuries. Um, this helps with protection, but this also helps with domination. And that's exactly what we're going to be using here. Now, let's get into it. What you're going to be doing is in the parchment paper, you're going to be drawing an infinity symbol so it's something similar to the number eight, as you guys can see here. So it's going to look something like this. And in your left side, you're going to be writing down your name, first name, last name, and date of birth. Now on the right side, you're going to put targets Target's first name, last name, and if you happen to have their date of birth, you're going to put down their date of birth as well. So it's going to look something like this. So on the left side, it's going to be your name, first name, last name, date of birth. On the right side, it's going to be the target's information. So your partner, your lover, whatever this person is to you that you're trying to draw to you, you're going to be writing down their information. 
Now is the date of birth necessary? Not necessarily. Um, if you are, as an example, if you've known them for quite a while and the connection has been constant, then no, you will not need their date of birth. Now, if this was a casual fling and you're trying to bring them back after a one night stand, yes, you might need their date of birth. Why? Because the connection is not that strong, like to be able to overpower um, or to pull their energy. So do that information what you will. Now, once we do that, what we're going to do now is we're going to be getting some of the coffee and we're going to be putting coffee in your name and date of birth, which would be your left side. And we're also going to be putting some of the coffee in the right side, which is your target and right in the middle. Okay. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to be adding some of the cinnamon again, both on your side and on their side, as well as in the middle. And you're going to be getting whatever powders you're going to be using. In my case, I'm going to be using the love powders that I make. And once we're done with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to add a bit of honey. You don't need very much, but try to focus primarily on their side okay so once you've done that what you're going to do now is you're going to close it always towards you you're going to turn it to the right fold it again towards you turn it to the right again towards you and to the right again towards you. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. What we're gonna do now is we're going to get some string, some red string, and you're going to tie it around and you're going to make, you're going to tie three knots to this. When doing the tying of the knot you're going to say out loud i call you um whatever their name is i call you towards me uh, let's just say um let's just say joe smith for example i call you towards me joe smith and you're going to tie it again trying not to do it too tight because I don't want this falling on my and you're gonna say again I call you Joe Smith towards me you get the drill you're gonna do it three times okay I'm just doing this for showing purposes as you guys can see I have that right here Okay, so once you have done that, it's gonna look something like this. Like I said, we've already done that for the client here, but just for showing purposes, it's gonna look something like this or technically something like this, okay? So once that is done, what we're gonna do now is we're going to get ourselves a tray or a bowl or a plate, something that uh, could be um, fire resistant or that is not going to uh, break so primarily don't use glass for this situation um, as you guys can see here we have this ready what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a red apple 
and you're going to cut the top of the apple exposing the inside and make sure to keep the top of the apple because you're going to be putting it back like this so once you have done that and you have taken out the inside of the apple what you're going to do here is you're going to write down in on the apple you're going to write down the target's first name their last name and if you have their date of birth their date of birth if you don't have that that's fine first name last name okay once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to kiss the apple, okay? You're going to kiss the apple. You're going to introduce the little pouch we just did. But before we do that, we're going to add a little bit more of cinnamon, a little bit more of the love powders. And we're going to be adding some of the tobacco cologne. Okay. Now we're going to be introducing the pouch. And we're going to be adding some cinnamon. I mean, not cinnamon, honey. On the apple as such okay and we're gonna give it a little more of the cologne all right my lovely so at this point let me put this to the side at this point, you need to be very careful to make sure, like I said, you have to be careful and make sure that the bowl or the plate that you're using is um, not going to break on you. You're going to get some matches. And as you guys know, the cinnamon is to draw in love, to amplify the love and fiery passion, honey to sweeten the situation. The tobacco, like I explained to you guys, this is to dominate, uh, to bring protection to the relationship, but also to dominate or overpower their energy. And the apple obviously used for love or to draw in love. Now, at this point, what we're going to do now is we're going to light the apple this point is when you're going to light now it is very important and crucial to remain as focused as possible now before we light we're going to uh, empower it my father the son the holy ghost and bless and consecrate As you guys can see here, we're going to wait until it is extinguished. At this point, you're going to state their name. I call you forth, I bring you to me. You find me in your sleep and in your dreams. You will have no rest, you'll have no peace until you are fully returned to me. Once this is done and extinguished, we're going to cover the apple and we're going to bury this. Now, I would highly encourage you guys, if you guys have plants or if you have um, any herbs or any roses or anything in your garden, that's where you're going to be uh, burying the apple. Now, for those of you guys that don't, I would encourage you guys to get yourself a $5 plant from Home Depot or something to be able to uh, plant it there or bury it there and if not if anything um, I would encourage you guys to bury it in your home whether it's in the front of your home or in the backyard um, the 
crucial and important thing to do here is to make sure that it is buried. Why? Because you're wanting to create a manifestation that is going to be something long lasting. So you want to, uh, in essence, put it back into the earth so that it could strengthen and empower the spell. So once this is done, like I said, as you guys can see, it has been extinguished. We are going to put the apple as such, and we are going to cover it with the foil. And I will be bearing this or disposing of this in my rose bush garden um, for my client. And like I said, um, when offering or when putting anything into the earth, make sure to thank the spirits that you're working with um, thank them and um, give them an offering if anything um, I'm going to keep this by my altar for a few days um, after the seventh day I will be uh, disposing of it by like I said burying it in my rose garden um, so I hope that this gives you guys uh, results I hope you guys enjoyed this spell definitely come back and let me know what your experience was when doing this spell always I wish you guys the very best. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.